Large language models like ChatGPT and Claude and Bard seem magical, and we think they can do almost anything. But one of the surprising things that they're not good at is math. Now, why is that? Well, let's talk about that here in just a minute. Hi, I'm Prof C, and I talk about how generative AI is changing business, society, and our lives. And today I want to talk about why large language models are not good at math. First of all, you have to remember that large language models are statistical models. They are actually statistically figuring out what is the best next word to put in place. And so some people call them just stochastic parrots. Sto stochastic is just another more academic fancy word for statistics. Well, are we stochastic parrots? What if I was to say, the train is about to leave the... What's the next word that you would come up with? It's probably station. But you could have said platform, terminal, town, port, city. Those all would have been valid as well, but they're not statistically what's going to come next from our experience. LLMs are the same thing. They are just looking at the statistical value for what might come next. Now imagine that you're a child and you've never been taught arithmetic or what quantities mean. You don't know that four represents four things or, you know, four individual apples or something like that. You've just heard these words. But you hear a lot that two plus two equals four. Maybe occasionally your brother says that two plus two equals five, but you don't hear that very often. So if someone was to say to you, two plus two equals you would say four, okay? And that's the same way these LLMs are. Now, that doesn't mean that they're bad. They're pretty magical things and they're great tools for us to help with writing, to help with education. There's lots of things that they're great for. But unfortunately, there's some people that are trying to make these the one-stop shop for all intelligence or all types of tools that we might rely on as humans. So there is a cultural aspect to this. Some people are not satisfied with the idea that these may be uh, just some good tools that we can use in very specific use cases. They want it to be the end all and be all. In fact, Sam Altman, the founder, one of the founders of OpenAI has said he's really seeking to create general artificial intelligence. Okay, those computers that can think like a human. So there is a cultural aspect to all this, and I may explore that in another video, what is kind of the, the culture or the subculture that's behind some of these tech leaders in AI. But that's probably a subject for a different video. I'll provide some more information uh, in the description below where you can link out to some articles that talk about why these things are bad at math. But here's a uh, screenshot from one of those articles, which talking about the fact that some of these papers are looking at how can we make LLMs better at math? And the author's pointing out that, hey, a calculator is 100% good at solving these problems. Why are you trying to pigeonhole LLMs into doing these things as well? So I think it's a big issue that we need to think about when we're using these systems. What are they good at? What are they not good at. Thanks so much for watching and please remember that you are part of an elite crowd if you made it to the end of one of my videos and you should definitely subscribe.